guys, welcome to the second episode of Chelsea's Vanity. First, I'm going to show you a little bit around this area of my room, this vanity section I'm super excited about. I'll give you a couple tips, tricks, and ideas, and hopefully you can put something together yourself. First off, I wanted this area of my room to be super girly. This may or may not be, I don't know Trevor, the last time that I live alone. So I am taking full advantage of making it super girly and super fun. So first things first, I always have a little area for perfume. When I put perfume out, I make sure to have a mirrored surface under. I think it's really pretty because it reflects all the colors in the perfume. I love the mirrors everywhere. Second, I have a place to hang some of my bracelets. I don't really want to put too much stuff on there, so I do have a couple things in my closet that I don't have out here, but they're just things that I don't wear as often, like dangly earrings. I don't wear dangly earrings very often because I just really don't have a place to wear them. It's not like I'm going out on dates every night. Thanks, Trev. I also made sure to have some feminine touches, and one is the Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn is an icon, and I think she's so cute, and so I have her in a couple different places. I have her underneath in a book, and I also have this poster from this old European shop in Lahaina, Hawaii that we got, so it's um, just really cute and I framed it up with a white frame just to lighten up the room again. I also love to put anything from Norman Rockwell. I think Norman Rockwell is one of the most amazing visual artists of all time and I think that his work just shares such a story so I love to have little touches of history. You'll notice that all over my place as I show you around. Next I like to use unconventional items to put my makeup in. So the only real thing you'll see that is made for makeup is the lipstick holder. Other than that, it's really just like really cute mugs. I have a little teacup. I have this really cute camel kind of 50s matchbox and it's really vintage and I love that it adds to the vintage flair. So when it comes to getting the actual piece, which this, this piece brings everything together, it's a little bit Victorian, it's definitely got um, some history to it. What I like to use um, was something that really just brought everything together, and I think it's awesome that people are refinishing things and painting them, but I really wanted this to just remain in the same wood that it came in. So I actually just got this from my grandparents, so it's kind of an heirloom, which I'm, I'm serious, if you talk to your grandparents, you might be able to find something that you can take from their house if they're as nice as my grandparents. So, another thing to keep in mind is I have a little bit of a color theme. It's kind of this like minty teal and pink. I also have a place for my rings and I thought that it was really fun to just have something that was a little bit more formal that I could stack my rings and really see them every day. Hopefully you enjoyed the tips of the day and I hope you come back for more. Make sure you subscribe if you like my videos and visit my blog uh, www.bluehavenbell.com and leave a comment if you like what you see.